Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I appreciate it, hope you're doing well and staying safe. And if you're new here, my name is Jim, it's great to meet you. I make tutorial videos here every week on YouTube showing you how I use various software products to edit and enhance my images. Today I'm talking about Sharpen AI by my friends over at Topaz Labs. I've done a lot of Topaz videos in the past, but I haven't done any in a while. And I just downloaded the update to Sharpen AI, and as the name implies, it's AI based, and it's around the idea of sharpening your photos, but it's also really incredibly good at shake reduction. And that's what I wanna talk about mostly in this video. So this is kind of like a mini review. The product is an update to their current version. So if you already own Sharpen AI, it's a free update. But if you don't own it yet, you can get it during their promotional period that goes through August 7th. Let me show you on their website. You can get Sharpen AI for $59.99, $20 off the regular price. And with the coupon code GYMNEXT, just use my name there, you save another 15%, which puts it about $51. It's also a part of what they call their utility bundle for amazing apps, Sharpen AI, Denoise AI, which I absolutely adore. It is the best noise reduction product out there. And then JPEG to RAW and Gigapixel, two more great utility apps. And that bundle is usually uh, about um, 400, 350 bucks, and it's sub 200, again, with coupon code GYMNIX, you get it for 15% off of that. So I wanna jump into Sharpen AI because now that I've been using this update, I thought it was really important to share this because um, I do a lot of handheld shots. I do a lot of street shots in lower light, and I don't do a lot of portraits, but this is really good for portraits. But what I've found is that when I start zooming into these photos that I take handheld, they look good on the back of the camera, and they look good on the computer, but when I start zooming in, they're really not that sharp. Uh, when you pay close attention to it, sharpen AI fixes that, especially the shake reduction. It's incredible at that. Let me get an image and get started. So just to let you know, it works as a standalone or a plugin. I'm using it in standalone mode, but it'll plug into Topaz Studio as well as Lightroom and Photoshop. Now there's three main modes. There's Sharpen, which is your general input sharpening. There's Stabilize, which is really good at that shaky uh, shake reduction that I'm talking about, and that's the thing I'm really fired up about. And then there's Focus as well to fix those slightly off focus images. Um, again, not a full tutorial here. I wanna really dive in, dive in, especially around stabilization. There's a couple things to be aware of. Number one, like all Topaz products, the, the user interface is very straightforward and easy to use. Um, there is a preview window up here. You can see this box is already showing me where I'm kind of zoomed in. There's an auto update preview. If you check that, every time you make a change, it will update the preview. So if you wanna stop that, you can just uncheck it. I'm gonna leave it checked here. There's an auto button here for mode. As you can see, it says automatically detect the recommended mode for this image. That's new and that's really cool. So in other words, it's gonna look at your image and say, should I focus on the sharpening, the stabilization, or the focus? Focus is probably the wrong word to start that sentence with. But what mode should I choose? I've been clicking that and it's just doing a great job. Below that, the settings, you have sharpness and noise suppression. They are the same on all three of these. You can see it's starting to initialize and generate that preview. Uh, but these, uh, these uh, sliders down below here, sharpness and noise suppression, they're the same on all three of these tabs. Uh, stabilize and focus are all the same. Now, as I said, you can turn on auto and you can see it'll automatically choose which mode to go into. In this case, it's stabilize and it will choose the settings here for you which I absolutely love, and I gotta be honest, it's been pretty spot on, and I've been really happy with the results. Take a look at this lady. This was just, you can see the, the, the photo here, uh, the wide, this was a, a wide open shot, you know, uh, like a wide f-stop, like, I don't know, 2.8 or something, um, shot in Amsterdam a long time ago. I just I was taking photos of people in the crowd, really never had any plan to do anything with this photo, uh, but look how crisp that is. Let me show you the original. There's the original, look at her face, and after, look how sharp that is. But I wanna show you this lady over here. I'm gonna drag that over, and in fact, I'm gonna zoom in a little more, and I'm gonna focus on this lady. She was not my focal point in the image, but take a look at the amazing shake reduction that this software has applied to her face. I mean, look at that. Let me show you the original. There it is before, untouched, and after. I mean, it's like a completely different image. It's literally saved that. Now, 
I got to be honest, she was not the focal point, so I don't really mind necessarily if she's blurry, but I'm just amazed at how powerful this is. And of course, if I pull back over here to the lady that was the focal point of the image, you will see that she's really crisp as well. And in fact, so crisp, I didn't even realize I was what I was missing, right? So let me show you the original. There you go. I thought that was a fairly sharp shot, uh, certainly on the back of my... Um, uh, camera, it looked that way, and um, you know, in my basic library, just looking at it, I thought, oh, that looks pretty good. But I mean, there it is, and there it is now. I think an amazing, amazing thing. Now, here's the other thing: you can, of course, scroll here, right? Um, so I'm going to back out a little bit, um, and again, it's going to recalculate. I'm not going to back out all the way, but I wanted to show you another really, really cool feature, and that is they have masking built in. So what you're going to find is. Um, it's going to start applying these edits globally so it could pick other people out in this crowd and in fact it does um, it picks that gentleman there and it creates a little bit more focus around him which I don't really care about um, and then also over here this lady um, it picks her out and applies some focus to her as well and again don't really care about that so you've got this cool new feature where you can go in and click on mask and that's going to allow you to mask it in selectively. And here's another cool thing about the masking is it will help you find objects. So you'll see it says detecting objects. If I click on find objects, it's going to come up and it's going to say person. If I check that, it's going to mask in all the people that it recognizes in the photo, which is quite a few, right? So if I back out a little bit, you're going to see that it's finding all these various people. Now, it doesn't get everyone, but again, I don't care. I care about these two ladies specifically. So I can come in here and edit the mask. I can just say add. So the first thing I did is I came down here to options and I just say clear. And now that I've hit add, all I want to do is just go paint in this sharpening into this lady and maybe the top of her jacket and some of her uh, sleeve and that sort of thing. Um, and then I'm going to come over here and then also do the same uh, around this lady, her face, and a little bit of uh, her hair and her jacket and that sort of thing. All I really want to do is just create a little bit of selective focus, and that's what the masking allows me to do. Come in there, and that's kind of a quick sloppy job, but it allows me to apply it selectively. You can see down here this masking uh, representation window. It shows me white reveals, black conceals. So my edits are going to be revealed, and I missed a little bit of her. but. Um, you're going to be able to uh, just selectively apply the edits where you want them to go. And I think that's very powerful and very useful, and it gives you so much control over the final output of your image. Okay, here's another image. If I back out, you can kind of see it's a, a night shot from a street in Nashville, but I really want to zoom in on this guy, and I've got auto mode detection on. It actually chose sharpen, but you can come over here and choose stabilize instead, and in this case, I actually think stabilize worked a little bit better. Again, low light night shot handheld. So we're talking about kind of shaky. Um, and as I said, I'm fairly twitchy. So as I zoom in, I think you can see that, I mean, this photo has really popped thanks to the, uh, the stabilization that uh, Sharpen AI is able to apply to the image. So let me show you that original. There it is before and there it is now, much better. And the other cool thing is if you go back here and look at these people in the distance, you can see that they're much sharper too. Let me show you. There's the original, quite a bit blurrier, and the uh, the the adjusted one. I mean, it's so much different. It's very powerful. I've got one more example photo to show you. Okay, now here's a portrait that I shot at an event. Again, handheld, low light, uh, that sort of thing. So um, it's not particularly sharp. And I I focused on the eye. I, you know, I did all the the right things, as they say. And yet, it came out a little bit uh, soft. So let me zoom in and kind of show you what I'm talking about. By the way, I had it on auto detect mode. I'm going to go about there with her face. Um, and it chose stabilize. I thought it was sharp enough that it would just need to be sharpened a little bit. Gosh, that's the wrong way of saying it. I thought it was focused enough that it just needed to be sharpened a little bit. But it's actually saying that I should stabilize. And so once you see what it does to the image, I think you'll be like, wow. There you go. So let me show you the original. There's the original. Look at those eyes. They're a bit soft. And after, there it is. So much crisper. Um, and again, you've got the ability to come in and mask if you want to. In this case, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. 
You can also go through and adjust these sliders as you see fit. The point is just to experiment and move things around, but I wanted to give you a, a quick look at Sharpen AI by Topaz. It's pretty amazing. I'm floored, and I have to be honest now, I'm zooming into all my images, taking a closer look and kind of saying, uh, yeah, Jim, you're A, you're, you're a little bit twitchy, uh, and B, um, you, 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 know, you need to maybe bring the tripod a little bit more often. So. Um, that's for me to think about, but I just wanted to share this because I think it's a pretty amazing product. I'm having a lot of fun with it, and if you want to check it out, they also have a free trial you can download at the link that I'll put below. But um, if you haven't uh, haven't gotten it yet and want to try it, check it out and let me know if you have any questions. And thanks for watching, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you get something out of this product. I know I am. I'm going to go have fun with it, and I'll see you later. Thanks for coming by and watching. Have a great day. Take care, and adios.